this work is about uh, the assessment of the damage evolution by repeating, repeated impacts uh, developed in collaboration between the University of Messina and the International Union of Motonautic, the UAM. Okay. Uh, this kind of material is uh, used uh, widely in uh, offshore championship uh, for uh, it, uh, for it uh, mechanical properties, in particular the reduced weight and uh, for uh, safety and reliability reason. Uh, in during the, the, the championship, this material can be subjected to repeated impacts, for example, uh, uh, for a slamming condition or for a collision. Uh, this material is uh, uh, used in uh, x cut class, that is uh, the class of catamarans, uh, to build a canopy. And this is uh, built, uh, made by shipyard ecosys in Abu Dhabi. Uh, samples were the uh, square shape the 100 millimeters per 100 millimeter, millimeters with a thickness of 26 millimeters. It's possible to see the markers for the three uh, dimensional scans. In the left picture, we, we can see the quantum apparatus that uh, was designed in order to ensure that uh, every impact was at the same point. And uh, in the table, it's possible to see the plies of lamination that uh, is made by a corazel in a PVC and uh, a carbon plies uh, in, with a different orientation, a different weight. In the outside, there is a glass mat, and in the inside, there is a Kevlar ply. Kevlar uh, as the aim to contain the, uh, the fragment uh, after the, the crack. For the impact test, we use a Fractovitz Plus machine that uh, record the force versus time and force versus uh, displacement. And uh, after we evaluate the damage degree eta 1, that is defined as the ratio between uh, absorbed and impact energy. Uh, with the Atos GOM uh, 3D scan, we, uh, after every impact, we uh, record the impress volume and uh, we evaluate the ratio eta 2, that is the ratio between impress volume and theoretical volume. Theoretical volume is uh, evaluated as the volume of the intent, the inventor at the maximum displacement. That is the traditional way to evaluate the, the volume. Uh, we conduct uh, uh, a series of uh, single impact tests uh, from uh, 30 joule to almost 60 joule and a series of uh, repeated impact at the low energy from 13 joule to 18 joule until the perforation of the skin. Uh, we regulated the impact speed and the height of the grade in order to change the energy and use the, an intent uh, uh, classical hemispherical shape with the diameter of uh, 20 millimeters. The scan was a structured blue light one with the two cameras in stereo uh, that perform a resolution of about uh, hundreds of uh, two hundreds of millimeter. Uh, after the scan, uh, we uh, post-process the cloud of point in order to obtain a tri uh, triangular mesh, polygonal mesh, and uh, to uh, to develop the, the surface, the impact to surface. Here we can see in the STL file. Uh, we uh, develop uh, the section curves uh, and obtain the, the surface, uh, the loft surface that uh, interpolate the, the curves. Uh, in this uh, picture, and uh, lower, uh, we, can, we can see the deviation analysis that is uh, always uh, less than 100 of millimeter. 
these are the curves of uh, single impact tests. Uh, it's possible to assert that uh, the first part of the curves, this one, is uh, almost the, sa the same for uh, every energy, because this uh, depends from the stiffness of the skin, and the difference is in the rebound. That is uh, less growing the energy. These are uh, uh, four different uh, mechanical characteristics uh, varying the energy. The big force that is uh, almost constant. Uh, maximum displacement that is well fitted by a linear curve. The volume, uh, the impress volume uh, that is well fitted by a parabolic curve. And the damage degree that is uh, like a, a cubic polynomial law. It's very interesting that uh, the first part of the, this cubic rise uh, very quickly, and the second part is uh, almost a plateau. In a repeated uh, impact test, uh, we can see the trend of the big forces that uh, uh, decrease the parabolic, uh, growing the impact uh, uh, number of tests. Uh, this uh, impact number go till the perforation of the skin and uh, the stiffness that decay very quickly uh, with an exponential uh, This is very interesting because uh, after uh, first impact, uh, the damage is not yet visible, but even if it's not visible, the damage uh, there is. <coughs> uh, this is the trend of the impress volume that is uh, almost linear. And the ratio eta due, eta two, that is, uh, I remember the, the ratio between impress volume and theoretical volume. It's interesting to observe that uh, this ratio is uh, always less than, than uh, 0.5. So the difference between the impress volume and the theoretical volume is due to the elastic deformation of the, of the composite. Unlike impressed volume, the trend of the absorbed energy is uh, uh, follow a parabolic law. So uh, uh, we can see that uh, when uh, volume uh, very linear, the the, uh, the energy very uh, parabolic. Uh, this behavior shows the nonlinearity of the sandwich composite. In fact, we can put in correlation eta 1 and eta 2 and see that it's not a, a, a linear curve, but a, parabol a parabolic curve. <coughs> so uh, we observe that the classical correlation between the damage degree and the theoretical volume could lead in error. So in conclusion, uh, we observe that uh, in a single impact test, Varying the impacting energy, uh, the absorbed energy follows a, a cubic polynomial law. There is an exponential decay of the stiffness and a parabolic reduction of the big force. This means that a quick reduction of mechanical performance, even if the damage is not visible, the absorbed energy in repeated impacts grows parabolic parabolic way, uh, and the detected the impress volumes grow linearly with impact energy. So in the correlation between volumes and energy, there is not a linearity. And the optical uh, measurement uh, could be an innovative uh, tool in order to investigate this, uh, this behavior and the true impact of test. Thank you. Thank you very much. Question? No? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.